Has your horse suddenly gone off his feed? Is he a fussy feeder? Is he underweight? Or does he exhibit resistance when riding or when girthing up? Then your horse may be suffering from one or more stomach ulcers. Other symptoms of stomach ulcers can be frequent yawning, wind sucking or diarrhea. Research shows that at least 60% of all sport horses have stomach ulcers. Unfortunately, we cannot always see this from the outside. The only way to be 100% sure is by carrying out a gastroscopy. A veterinarian looks into the horse's stomach through a 3 meter long scope passed down the nose. Stomach ulcers can be very painful for the horse and may negatively affect his performance. Luckily, something can be done about this. First of all, it is important to know how stomach ulcers occur. The horse's stomach consists of two parts and only the lower part is protected against the aggressive stomach acid. This acid is so strong that if you put your hand in it, you would get a third degree burn. The stomach continuously produces acid to render any bacteria harmless and to begin the digestion of the food. A horse's stomach is relatively small, so the food passes through it really quickly. This means the food quickly disappears from the stomach. In an empty stomach, the gastric acid has every chance to splash against the unprotected top of the stomach wall, especially during intensive exercise. This can cause bad stomach ulcers within 48 hours. How can we prevent these awful stomach ulcers? Roughage works as a physical barrier in the stomach. To prevent stomach ulcers, it is important that your horse is able to eat roughage day and night to keep the stomach filled and therefore help prevent splashing of the stomach acid. Some roughage should also be fed before you train or enter the competition ring. Eating also plays another important role. By chewing, the horse produces saliva. Saliva contains bicarbonate that neutralizes the stomach acid. Sugar and starch in concentrates have an acidifying effect. So make sure that sugar and starch levels are low and that energy is derived from fibers and oil instead of grains. In addition to nutrition, it is also important to adjust your management. Briefly, it is recommended that you feed unlimited roughage and make sure that sugar and starch levels are low. Allow plenty of turnout time contact with others, and try to avoid stress. You should also avoid leaving the horse for long periods without chewing, feeding large amounts of concentrate in one go, exercising your horse on an empty stomach, and feeding concentrate just before exercise. Parvo, the answer to your nutritional questions.